Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Nigel, also known as Oligiri Vlogger, and today we're doing a couple of videos. Sea Do Adventure, and also doing some filming for my uh, shipping playlist as well. Uh, as of right now, we're just launched down here in uh, Port Dover. Don't worry, it's not Friday the 13th, it's actually Friday the 10th? The 10th? 10th, I think it's the 10th. Anyway, I'm riding with the Invisible Man. Yeah, he's here somewhere. Um, <laughs> funny story is, we got here, he took my see i reversed it and he jumped to my cd put it in but as he walked towards me he had a coffee and sandwiches in his hand now he hasn't got a clue where he put them i said to him i think he left him in the shitter so uh anyway he's gone in search of his sandwiches and his coffee so we'll see if he finds them or not so anyway port dover beautiful uh day today uh we looked at the weather forecast it wasn't too sure weather was going to come out today uh, because where i am in fort erie crystal beach it was drizzle when i left this morning and it's forecast for mostly cloudy there all day but the further i drove west today the sun did come out and it was forecasting very light winds for this area so we decided nope let's do it let's do friday friday is the best day of the weekend so we're down here uh we're a weekend away now from the long weekend i believe that is correct yeah the next weekend is a long weekend so we're down here we're gonna do some exploring we're gonna i want to go and check out he wants to go and check out long point we're gonna have a ride around and we're going to check out nanty coke and so on so we'll be out on the water very shortly we'll just wait for uh captain i lost my sandwiches and my coffee to come back and uh, we'll be on our way uh see you sacked up camera bag drone the breeze has picked up so i might not use the drone uh waterproofs uh I, i'm overheating at the moment i got my coveralls on uh hoodie and i got uh my uh, rain jacket as well i'm gonna put my life vest on very shortly and uh yeah um drinks and stuff radio so we'll just wait for mark to come back and have a laugh at his expense and then we'll be on our way he's trundling back i see no coffee I also see no uh, sandwich. <laughs> it's funny watching him do it. I don't know why. <laughs> Is that how I look when I do it? <laughs> hey, can I ask? Yes, sir. Did you find your sandwich? <laughs> I did. I did find my sandwich. Did you find your coffee? No, I didn't find my coffee. But you found the sandwich. What was the sandwich? <laughs> In the car still. But the coffee's disappeared. The coffee's gone. <laughs> it may still be in the toilet. It's in the toilet. I know it is. Anyways, guys, we're here. We're all tied up. Ready to go. Hello, sir. Uh, again, the ramp. We're ready. A minute ago, I was thinking I was, I'd overdressed. Uh, but literally, as soon as we started the motors, the wind just picked up. You can tell by the ripples. <laughs> so anyway, we dress for all seasons. Who knows what may happen. Anyway, we're leaving the uh, marina here at uh, Port Dover. I can't keep wanting to say Port Colburn, but it's Port Dover. Uh, 25 bucks to launch for the day. Uh, launch, park, whatever. Uh, this place will be packed in a few weeks' time. They're still putting the boats in. And there's some really nice uh, boats down here too. Uh, all sizes, but this is a very popular place down here, as you can imagine. So anyway, uh, making our way out towards uh, Lake Erie, let's uh, mosey on out. He's not working accurately either. He keeps freezing, which is a shame because I just had that topped up uh, last service. So I have to find out what's going on there too. So anyway, I'm glad Mark's with me today just in case something goes wrong. I'll show you something here. Uh, last year I went down to Port Burwell, uh, which is the other side of the long point, about 
a 45 minute ride on the sea do uh, further west <coughs> and all the cliffs along there are receding at an alarming rate uh, the erosion now look at the cliff face here you can already see a collapse uh, right here which is recent I can tell you it's recent because the trees are, are still blooming and they've still got leaves on them and we've, we're in spring so they've just the roots are still alive so I wonder whether they've just fallen like pretty recently look at that now the house over there looks like it's had some uh, work done to try and uh, protect the uh, the ground there I think when I came along here two years ago they were working on that wall it's already starting to collapse looking at that but yeah erosion is a huge thing here I mean this gets battered a lot along here from the storms um, it's very open water uh, long point itself uh, is quite directly that way to the lighthouse so this is all open so if you get a nice south southwesterly wind uh, doing 100 kilometers an hour that's going to batter that shoreline pretty good. Yeah, some more erosion over here. Four point seven feet. That's not good. Good enough for a sea do though. Yeah, this is just uh, eroding at an alarming rate. Now Mark's uh, depth finder's playing up as well, which is odd, but he's getting different alarms than me. He's getting notification alarms. He's trying to figure it out, which he's never had before. I'm gonna let Mark fill most of this area. Uh, so if you've never done Long Point, Turkey Point, check out Mark's video uh, for sure. I'll skip a lot of the interest, a lot of the uh, stuff around there, unless I see something of interest. Uh, but I'm gonna be concentrating more on from uh, the tip of Long Point down to Nanty Coke and stuff like that. Mark was now getting bogged down with notifications on his uh, GPS, and he just had to try and figure out what was causing it. So you're getting errors, I'm getting, well, I'm not getting errors, I'm just, my machine's just got a ghost in it, I think. You, no rush, you got a problem solved, problem solved, we're in a nice spot. I think I did it. The other trick I found, especially if you're dealing with it, pull the SD card out. Well, mine's showing 8.2 right now, which will probably be about right here, because I can see the shallow bits and the light and dark bits ahead of me. And I've been along here and it is very shallow. I'm at, I'm at. Okay, so okay, one of us is bloody wrong then. <laughs> it's probably mine because it's just flashing away at 8 2. That's the problem, you can't problem solve these things at home. Because no, you have to have the sea do yeah, running with the power the on. <laughs> it's got to be in the water before you do anything. I got fed up of uh, trying to figure out what was wrong with my GPS and uh, my depth finder, so instead I just called the dealership and got it booked in. <laughs> what, what, why? Blue sky, blue sky, look. Well, they did say 20% chance. Maybe this is that 20% chance right now. I see heavy rain. <laughs> That's like a heavy shower coming towards us. Um, yeah. Oh, well, we get wet, we get wet, right? He's absolutely pissing it down. <laughs> wow. Because it's quite big raindrops, in fact, you can really feel it on your face. Which part of the face is exposed, mind you, most of it's covered. But we're trying to outrun that rain and head straight to where the blue sky is. And hopefully it will uh, be alright. But that looks like a bit of a heavy shower. So the rain was actually 
actually very cold. And it is cooler today than it has been last few days. Uh, 16 degrees. Look at that cloud -like formation. That looks really freaking neat. Wow. I just love that backdrop of that cloud. The blue sky, the glass behind me. Uh, Mr. Mark Forrest going whipping by. At this very moment of filming this, we're in about 20 feet of water, but it didn't last long. I only noticed this on the edit, but watch the colour of the water change rapidly. Apparently I'm in 15.6 feet of water. More like 2 feet. Alright, something's not working proper here. been here before so there's the channel I'm gonna get stuck it's gonna get shallower I think the sandbank so I should be just getting close to it right now so what we stumbled across here is bluff bar and it can be particularly dangerous because it prevents boats from hugging the shoreline when heading to and from long point it. it rises quickly from depths of 20 to 25 feet to less than three feet perch in the blink of an eye I'll just quickly show you on the marine chart. So uh, basically that's where we are right now where the Black Arrow is and just zoom in. That's Long Point Lighthouse right there. And this is where we are here. So you can see that bar actually sticks out quite a long way. Like the tip of it. Very, very shallow water. I've kind of got the, uh, the Garmin maps. Otherwise we would have had a little catastrophe here. If you're heading to or from the lighthouse, make sure to avoid Bluff Bar, especially if you're in a boat. Just trying to navigate our way through this. It is very shallow, it's like literally two feet. Maybe three in places, but definitely two in some. If you got a big boat with a long prop on your uh, on your engine, you're gonna hit this. Oh yeah, it's getting deeper now. Got about five feet there. That's better. Oh, that's much better. We're out of it. Maybe they think I'm a fishing boat. They're all following me. Oh, you're all, don't shit on me either. All right, I'm not here to hurt you. I'm staying away from your nests. I'm going over here. Oh, they're all flying away now. Oh, it's that big bird. He's pissing them off. All right, just shut the engine off for a bit take it all in guess what i don't have on me i always have this with me 
No coffee today. Kind of need one right now. I have people ask me occasionally, what's the best thing about a sea -Doo? This. To be out, middle of nowhere, no one around you, cut off, just peace and quiet. And all I can hear is the wind in those trees and the waves crashing on the other side of Long Point. It's, uh, it's priceless. Long Point Lighthouse. It's actually turned out quite nice here today. Uh, so this side, lovely blue skies, lovely. That side, miserable. And we're gonna ride back into it. For a more detailed look at uh, Long Point, uh, the peninsula right there, check out Mark's video. I'll put a little bit of it up now so you can see it, uh, but check out the fantastic drone shots he did. Absolutely brilliant. I'll put the link in the description. So basically, that horrible black cloud we drove through earlier on and got wet because it rained on us is it's still there and just it just keeps coming i guess it's coming off lake huron right across london and then straight back onto lake erie but hugging the coastline but as you can see from where we are it's just it's like summer it's like it's a proper summer's day here it's beautiful and there's only us here it's um it's gorgeous so anyway uh we're gonna get ourselves ready now and we're gonna make our way uh straight across the lake here to nanticoke i believe it's like 20 something 30 kilometers 20 kilometers from here straight across so i want to say it's 30 kilometers sounds familiar and then uh, we'll have a look around there check out the ship and then make our way along the coastline again and we'll nip into port dover before we finish the day that doesn't look good and i think that's gonna hit us it seems to be getting worse <laughs> Because uh, that's inland down that way, um, we gotta go over there. So that is coming our way. So I think by the time we've done Nanty Coke and Mike make our way back, we're gonna get absolutely drenched. Erie County Lakeshore. This afternoon, partly sunny with a 20% chance of showers. Near steady temperature in the mid 50s. It's a rough ride over here. It's pretty calm here compared to what we've just been through. Uh, the video I made specifically for the ships, the ships of Nighty Coke has already been posted, so I'll put a link in the description and also on the screen right above. Hang on. What was that? Oh, it is choppy. Now, if you saw in Mark's other video not so long ago, you know the one where he lost something? He actually caught three big bass. Oh, it's this lure. On that lure. There you go. It's the Lake Erie lure. And within the blink of an eye, the conditions on Lake Erie wow. just deteriorated like that. Conditions soon deteriorated.
Wow, that was a bad ride, man. Wow, I took a beating on that one. Anyway, this is the main entrance way to Port Dover. The marina where we launched from is just over there. So let's have a quick ride up here and have a look. Watch out for the fishing line. Quite a few people fishing. Yep. Hey! <laughs> now you're in it. <laughs> All right, here we are back at the Port Dover Marina. And that is it for another adventure. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I did, even though I'm soaking wet. <laughs> Believe it or not, these waterproofs are not that waterproof after all. Uh, I'm not soaked. Uh, I feel a little bit wet, but not like icy cold wet and like something seep through somewhere. But anyway, time to get the uh, sea dew out, hook it up, and head on home. Go for a pint. So, anyway, uh, until the next time, see you all very soon. Stay safe.